My name is Akira Ishikawa from Japan. <laughs> My dad and I have always had a good relationship. But because we're both quiet people, sometimes our words get lost in the silence and language barriers. This makes it harder for us to connect and communicate. But music has definitely saved us and keeps us close together. When I wanted to make this documentary, I originally sought out to find out more about his life, growing up in Japan, his band, the music he played, and how he ultimately felt after falling in love with my mom before moving here to Canada and having me. When my parents separated, I was 11 years old. Like most children dealing with this, I couldn't help but put the blame on myself. Was it me? Was it my fault? Throughout the years, I learned the reason for their separation. And it was a lack of communication. Funny, communication has always remained a problem for me. Sometimes causing lots of grief. Lack of it terrifies me in losing a relationship with someone. Quite a contradiction, isn't it? But then I asked myself, why should I focus so much on the past? I realized what eventually brought me here into this life was music. Hello. <laughs> This is Takahata. He was a DJ, radio DJ. He, well, actually, he released CD recently at 60. Mm. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>, so <laughs> okay. you ever release? And we had a band, though. No. Wait, is that you? Oh, no, no God, that's not you. My bad. <laughs> Would you yeah. ever release a CD? Like, like, yes. I don't know, like record stuff? And... <laughs> Yes. You could contact him and you could do music. My dad and I have our similarities. Since words aren't our strong suit, both of us like to indulge in using art as our own means of expressionism. I feel comfort when I'm playing guitar and uh, mm. yeah, whenever you're tired or sad, just <laughs> grab the guitar, play, then uh, kind of. <laughs> what does it feel like if you could describe mm? the feeling? Make me life? happy or forgetting bad things. <laughs> Those. So it's like therapy. So my mental therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. As I was filming this documentary, my anxiety still lingered. How could I communicate what I really wanted and show what I truly desired? Okay. So they, they have I was worried. Would it be too much for him to answer? Do you ever miss Japan? Yes. Yeah? Of course. Like, what do you miss about it? Uh, I miss most friends. Yeah. That's all. That's the most. Yeah, the most. Without me 
music, my dad never would have had his band. He never would have met my mom. I wouldn't have been born. And his life probably would have been quite different. A fundamental question came to mind that I was hesitant to ask. I wasn't sure what his response would be, or if it was something I could even use in my film. Do you ever wish that your life was different? Oh, no, I never thought. One, two, three. Ah, th that's from my character, I think. I'm not like go 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 I'm not that type I'm very <laughs> relaxed I think so this is my life and I enjoyed enjoying kind of for both of us music breaks these communication barriers between us it fills the gaps in the silence and provides a sense of peace and happiness when people say that music saved their life Because music can't save a life, but it can make a life worth living. <laughs>